Okay, here's the video where you guys become rocket scientists. That's right, a rocket scientist. You know, remember how the saying always goes, well, you don't have to be a, well, it's not rocket science. This kind of is rocket science. Now, the thing we don't have to do is figure out the propellant or any of the electronics. We just have to figure out the aerodynamics, okay? So you're going to basically, I'm going to show you the basic way to make this um, water rocket that you're going to build, um, the parts that you need, and then you can add to it as you see fit, okay? So first of all, what you're going to do is just take a regular two-liter bottle. So a two-liter bottle is like those big soda bottles, okay? It's very important that it's a normal soda bottle that has this uh, nozzle on it, okay? Because the thing that we're gonna hook up, I have a special thing that hooks up to this, and then we have a bike pump that fills it with air, and that, along with the water, is going to be our propellant that's gonna make it uh, Newton's third law launch into the um, air with every reaction becoming an opposite and equal reaction. So when you have your bottle, okay, you're just gonna wanna empty it out and rinse it out, and then you're gonna wanna put it like this, okay? So that's one part. Then you're going to want to get another two-liter water bottle, or no, I'm sorry, not water bottle, another two-liter um, soda bottle, and you're going to cut off just the top of it. So think of this, okay, this two-liter right here, right? And you're going to cut off, I know that the wings are on here, but you're going to cut off right about here on the water bottle, the top part. See, just the top part, right about here, right about here. Okay, when you do cut it off, it will look like this. Now, I took this one apart. But you see it's just the top of the wa other water bottle. So we have a regular water bottle that's uncut. And then we have the just the top part of a second water bottle. Okay. And you probably want your parents to help. You got to use a knife or a scissors to cut nice and even along the top. Okay. Then once you have this, okay, you take your water bottle, your regular two liter, your full one that you did not cut. You turn it upside down. And then you take the other piece that you cut and you put it and put it on the top like that. But don't tape it yet because we have to talk about putting some weight and a nose cone, okay? Some kind of nose cone on the top. All right? So, again, we just have our water bottle. Turn it upside down. Take the other piece you cut and set it on top of there, okay? The next thing you're going to want to do is make a cone, okay? So you want to take – we want to take a piece of paper, preferably – a piece of paper that has some like thickness to it. If you don't have any of that paper, you can just use regular computer paper. I guess you can use any kind of paper. You could double up paper. Um, if you have some type of maybe like a old file folder, you can use something like that, even though it's harder to bend. So let's talk about how to make a cone. So when you have a cone, you just take a piece of paper, okay? And you kind of just roll it up. You just roll it up like that. Then you open up one side as you make the other side skinnier, right? So look, you see how I did that? You might have to practice a little bit. Remember, your parents can help you. Don't quite tape it now. Like, you don't want to tape the cone yet because you don't know exactly what size. But once you have it about where you want it, you try to fit it over the top of this. Now, you can see, look, it's way too big. This piece of paper is way too big. So what I would probably do now is just put one little piece of tape on right here, and I have my big cone, and then I would cut my cone, okay? So I might cut it along here all the way around so that it's just going to fit real nice, basically like this, on the top. Okay, now this one's reinforced with tape, and we'll talk about that in a second. So you want to have a nose cone, okay? But that nose cone needs some weight. And the reason why is when it blasts up in the air, it needs a little bit of weight. Otherwise, the air can catch it when it starts to blast off and just go in one direction. And I've done seen ones that don't have weight in before, and they just go like and go off to the side, okay? So if you want your rocket to go super far in the air and you want it to go straight up and then come straight down, what we do is we have to put a little bit of weight in the nose, okay? So once you make your nose cone, okay, yours is probably going to be out of paper. Then when you make it the right size and it can fit on there real nice, the more balanced your rocket is, the better. That is the key to this rocket science. We're going to talk about that when we get to the fins also. Everything has to be balanced. So when you put tape on it, you don't just put tons of tape and be sloppy about it. Because the, the more perfectly balanced it is, meaning the more even you put everything on, whatever you're going to add to it, the better your rocket will launch and fly, okay? So let's say that you made a paper remember how we made the paper cone you might want to take some tape 
and nicely reinforce it by putting it around the nose cone so it looks like something like this. Then we want to find some kind of a little bit of weight that we can put in. So what I've seen people do before is take Play-Doh or clay or maybe a little bit of rocks. Here's some marbles I have and put them in the nose cone. Not too many of them, but make sure they're balanced. So look, I put three marbles. I know you can't really see inside there, maybe a little bit. See, I put those in there, but I want them to balance. Now, if I did that, I have to stuff some cotton balls or something in there to make them stay, right? Because otherwise, when you go like this, they'll fall to this part. And you want it actually to stay in the nose cone part. So maybe, in this case, I have a old um, plastic bag. I might stuff that inside there. Okay. It's a little bit too much now. And then when I put the nose cone on and I tape it together, you will have some weight on the top. Okay. So you want some weight in the tip of the nose cone, and then you want it to stay in there however you want. You see, I didn't use cotton balls. Cotton balls actually work really good. Or any kind of like uh, toilet paper, just some stuff to keep it in the cone. So when you put this part, your um, nose cone, onto the second piece like this, it'll be like that, okay? And then remember this piece goes on the top like this, and then we've got to tape it. Now, when we tape it, again, you want to tape very nice. Electrical tape works really good. You just want to tape very evenly and nicely, like really take your time to not only tape the nose cone onto the top, but tape this part onto the bottom of the two liter, like that. Okay? So that's what it will look like. Now, the last part is we have to make the wings, okay? So the fins. These are what is going to make your rocket fly straight up. These are what makes it aerodynamic. These are super important and you want to make them even. So I would suggest doing either three or four total. They all should be exactly the same size and they should be evenly stationed exactly around it. So very, very even. Remember, balance and proportionality. Proportionality means all the same size and all the same balance will help your rocket fly and go up straight and have the best launch you possibly can, okay? So let's talk about how to make a, um, let's talk about how to make a fin, okay? So what I did is you could just have paper, the thicker the paper, the better. I would not use cardboard. Cardboard, like regular cardboard, is a little too thick. But if you can find a file folder like this or something, or even a piece of paper that's a little bit thicker, you're gonna bend it in half, and then on the crease part, so let's look again, here's the, okay? On the crease part, you're going to want to make a line. So what I did here, if you want to look, is I took this and I just made one diagonal. See? Just one diagonal across, about how big you want the fin to be, and then I cut it. And since I cut it on the fold, it looks like this, but look, when I open it up, I've got my wing, okay? Now what would I do from there? I would stay on the fold again. And then I would trace another one. So they're all exactly the same size. So look, if I put that there, I could trace that and cut that out. And I'd want three or four, probably four exactly the same size like this. Do you see that? And then we're going to attach those to our water bottle, right? So once I have my water bottle, now yours won't have all this plastic on it yet. I'm not plastic, sorry. Okay. okay. Let's say it didn't have any wings on it yet. Okay. Here's your wing you just made. You put your wing on there, you balance it out. You have to bend it a little bit. And again, you wanna really take your time when you do your taping. So then you're gonna tape this wing on there and you wanna put the same amount of tape on all four of them. So look, I'd make another one here, two, three, and four. And we wanna really balance. So this one flew really good the first time, okay? I've had it uh, in the closet and stuff, so you can see that the, the fins now are really bent. But when it was first made, I really took the time to put every piece of tape on there very carefully so it balanced out. So when you're all done with the pocket, it should look like regular two liter, upside down, with fins on it, okay, four fins that are evenly proportioned, all the same size, all the same taping, like really nice taping. Then we have a second two liter bottle. Remember we cut just off the top part out of that other, like just the top off another two liter.
Okay, we set that on top. And then the nose cone is very important that that is balanced. It has a little weight in it, some kind of weight that we put up in top. Okay, you want to stuff it a little bit. And then again, when you tape it all together, you want to put the right amount of tape on there and balance it as good as you can. Does duct tape work? It does. Maybe you want to thin it out and make duct tape maybe a half as like wide as it usually is. Electrical tape really, really works good. Maybe you want to put some designs on it. Maybe you have some extra stickers. Now, if you put a sticker on this side, then put a sticker on this side. Have it balance out and be proportional as much or congruent as much as possible. Okay. And then what you're going to do on our night launch, okay, next Thursday, these are basically, I'm showing you how to make this on a Monday, but they're due by Thursday. Hopefully your parents will buy you stuff. If you don't make one of these rockets, please still come to our last thing because there'll be enough rockets for you to watch, even if you don't have your own. Riley asked if she could use the like the little one liters, like the littler uh, water bottles. I don't think it will fly as well, but you can try because as long as it has the same opening here, I'll be able to fill it with fuel. Okay, so remember that Thursday night is going to be a night launch, which is pretty cool. So what I have is I have some black lights. My friend borrowed me this giant battery to plug in the black lights, and I am going to use. I'm making fluorescent. Looks just like Gatorade, but it's like fluorescent propellant. So the water that we put inside the rocket is going to be is going to glow in the black light and then blast off, and hopefully. You'll also wear some black light light stuff, black light stuff, meaning like whites look really cool in black light. Um, you can test if you have your own black light, you could test. Um, I'm also going to have some um, some cool black light tape that when you finally get there on Thursday night, I'll let you add a little bit more tape so that your thing will really glow and hopefully will look awesome under the black light at night at Freedom Park. And you will have propellant that will glow in the dark, that will glow off. And we should get some epic videos, okay? So anyway, that's the plan. Hopefully you know how to uh, make the, if you have any questions, like usual, just email me. Um, but we're going to become rocket scientists this week. So thank you for listening to the video, and good luck with your project.